Hi, I'm Jesse Rack. I'm an environmental educator with the University of Arizona's Community and School Garden Program. That means I use the garden to teach about science. Today I have a very cool thing about science and the garden to teach you. But first, I need to get into something a little more comfortable. Because not all scientists wear lab coats. An ecosystem is a biological community of interacting plants and animals and their physical environment. What do you think of when you think of an ecosystem? Do you think of a forest? Do you think of a jungle? Do you think of a desert? Do you think of a garden? A garden is also an ecosystem of interacting plants and animals working together to make the food you eat. An earthworm's role in the garden ecosystem is an important one. They're what we call decomposers. So they eat organic matter and they poop out amazing soil, which we call worm castings. Plants love it, look at them. <laughs> Another fun fact about earthworms, they're what we call simultaneous hermaphrodites. That means they have both female and male reproductive parts. And in order to fertilize their eggs, they both have eggs, they line up and mutually swap genetic material. How efficient is that? Something really cool about earthworms is they have the amazing scientific power of regeneration. What that means is if something happens to them, if they accidentally get bitten in half or broken in half or cut in half with your garden trowel, sometimes they can regenerate their parts. So if it's cut close enough to the end, the head part can grow a new tail. That's awesome. But here's something weird. The tail part can sometimes grow a new head. And in strange cases, there's an accident where the tail part sometimes accidentally grows a new tail. So we have a two-tailed zombie worm that can't eat and doesn't live very long, I'm sorry. But isn't nature fascinating? They can still breathe because they take up oxygen from the soil through their skin. So how many hearts do you have? You probably know the answer, it's one. <laughs> but earthworms have five. They're not as complex as ours, and they're actually just called aortic arches, but they function in the same way, to move blood through its tiny little body. Something else that's like and yet unlike us is that we use lungs to breathe, right? Earthworms breathe too, because they're living organisms, but they don't have lungs. Instead, they breathe through their skin, which is part of why they need to be kept moist because they can uptake oxygen through their skin. What do you call it when earthworms take over the planet? Global warming. <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs>